YouTube. What's up? It's your boy 360GZ. Today in this video, I did a burst fade, did a little wing on the side, little design. It was real dope. Um, I did this client before, uh, way back in the beginning. He had a high top, so now he transformed it into a burst fade. So, if you guys like it, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit this subscribe button right here in this area. It's right here. It should be right here, like in fancy, like type of text, and it's just like real dope the way it is right here. All right, so make sure you guys subscribe. All right, I'm not thirsty for subscribers. I'm just making sure everybody, you know, that come to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. All right, don't don't be don't be mad at me because I'm trying to gain subscribers. All right, so subscribe right here in this area. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay. Right now I'm combing down the hair, making sure everything is with the grain, okay? Um, right now I'm gonna put on my zero guard open and knock everything down to a zero guard. That way, when I put in my design, it looks real crisp. Here's a quick tip um, to tell you guys. Um, you wanna comb everything in place or brush it in place when you set in your designs. But, if you guys are having trouble with your liners and your liners aren't hitting as good you might want to spray spritz on the side of your client's head um, you can either spray it on a towel or spray it lightly across the, the scalp but you know this stiffens up the hair that way when the liners hit it it, it could come off crisp now I didn't do it on this design but when I do do it the hair comes off more easier All right, using my zero guard open, I'm creating another effect on top of this design by lightening up the top. I'm basically gonna make the top blend in with the bottom. Now with the lever closed, I'm balding out the bottom. Um, I'm not really doing this blend like standard you know what I mean this is basically a custom blend to fit the design so start with the lever closed and however you set the design in you got to kind of custom uh, custom fade it to the design now with the lever open same thing you're going up um, just making it kind of blend in uh, towards the design and uh, again I'm using the lever open Now with the one guard open, I'm creating another transition, creating another guideline, just, uh, just trying to get that good bling going. Now 
Now with the zero guard closed, all you're gonna do is fade out that middle line. You're using the flick out motion and you're kind of blending in and attacking that middle line. Now with every haircut, you wanna do detail work. Right now, I got my lever open and I'm closing it, just kind of perfecting the blend using my corners. Um, I'm gonna slap on my zero guard open and you know just trying to touch up some uh, some uh, areas in the uh, in the design so it could uh, blend a little bit better. Right here, I'm doing the freehand trim and going alongside of his head and going straight up using my wall magic clips. All right, so as I'm doing the free hand, I notice at the bottom it's not really blended in like how I want it. So I'm gonna slap on my one guard clothes and blend it in just a little bit better. Now on the right side, putting in the bald line using my Andy Slimline Pro Allies. Now with the lever open, I'm going right up on top of the bald line, going up about an inch, and just uh, making sure everything is even. I got my one guard open, doing the same thing as the lever open, and just setting that guideline in, making sure everything is even, and everything is neat, and everything looks in the same shape as the first guideline. With the zero guard closed, you're flicking out that middle line. Now with the lever closed, you're flicking out the bottom line. Same as the other side, I'm doing the free hand just so everything can look uh, in the direction that I want it to go in. In which case, this is kind of a high top fish kind of you know, cut, so I'm going straight up, and in the back, I'm going straight back. In the front of his hair, um, I'm gonna knock it back a little bit, just so you can see his uh, front line a little bit better, and it just makes everything look more neat. Right now I'm taking my shears just to knock off some of the, the hairs that's sticking out which may be uh, longer than the, the bottom half because he started this um, cut from a, a high top so the high top is obviously that the top is going to be longer than the, the back so I'm cutting off some of the top so it kind of could be even with the back even though the, the back is still shorter. Um, we're trying to uh, let this stuff grow out. so.
Ende. YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, all my notification gang. I appreciate y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all for always showing love, man. You don't know, these comments and, and the way y'all attack um, my video when it drops, it just really humbles me and it makes me feel like, man, I should keep going. So this is what keeps me going. I appreciate you guys for watching. It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheat!